evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Um, for the Haynes family, my name is Jacob Haynes, and this is I'm Laura. Laura Haynes. Um, we're members of the Episcopal Church of the Epiphany in Richardson, and during this time when we can't meet to worship together in person, uh, you can join us for a daily prayer here on the Epiphany's Facebook page at 8 a.m., 12, 10, around noon, and 8 p.m. every day. Um, please share your prayers in the comments, and we will make sure to include them tonight. Um, we'll give everybody just a few minutes to join in. And if you guys normally watch with us on Saturday, you know that our kids are usually here and they're, uh, uh, my mom is back with us, so uh, the kids are enjoying time with their grandma tonight. everyone's been having a good week. Hey Tara, hey Amanda. Good evening Pamela. I'll be back in a few more minutes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, and if you, um, if you're watching this later, you can follow along uh, from the Book of Common Prayer on page 127, or you can go to BCP online.org. Um, if you go on the daily office tab, there's another tab under there for an order for coffee. All right. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, God, our, our heavenly, heavenly Father, Father, we have, we have sinned, sinned against you through our own fault. fault in thought, and, and word, and deed, and in what they have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, in the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Okay, we're going to go to um, Psalm 31. And we'll read it responsibly by whole verse. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have, safe, that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Um, yeah. I'm going to read uh, Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all who are laboring or heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Um, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. 
Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We have another prayer that's a special collect for Saturdays. We give thanks to you, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal mystery through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. So um, if you have any prayer requests, um, go ahead and type them in. And hopefully they'll, uh, they'll um, come up before we, uh, we get to them. If not... Uh, They'll be prayed over this week. Um, I um, um, I'm gonna before we get to the the actual prayer requests and the and the prayers. I have a couple of um, prayers out of the for social order out of the is that, for social justice. Is that what it says for? From the, from the Book of Common Prayer. Um, and uh, this is from page, you know, somewhere in the 820s, um, number 36, for the oppressed. It says, Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the peoples of this land who live with, the in, with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to the, these our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all. And grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I also have a, another short prayer I want to read. This was um, from uh, Martin Luther King Jr. I was just reading um, letter, from yeah, letters from a Birmingham jail today. Very good stuff, and um, really um, makes you you think about us as us as the church and what our response to uh, some of the social justice issues of the day. Um, so this is from from Martin Luther King Jr. Oh God, make us willing to do Your will, come what may. Increase the numbers of persons of goodwill. And moral sensitivity. Give us renewed confidence in nonviolence, in the way of love as taught by Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. So we have um, continue, prayers for continued good health for David and Michael. Um, we also have. Um, we also have a, a list of, of people where we can pray for. So we'll go ahead and pray. Yeah, just making sure there's no one else. Um, Father, um, please watch over and give your um, your healing hand to um, both David and Michael, and that you continue in their their good health. Um, please pray for. We, we lift up John Marshall, Roger Lee, Teresa Vernon, A.J. Schuler, Everett Ball, Becky Campbell Bellows, Hunter Haney, Michael Brennan, Gordon Collins, Barger, Barbara Woodruff, and Mary Brunswick. So continue. Um, we, we lift those up to you. And please continue adding your prayer requests, even if they're added after the live video is over. They will still be prayed over. This out. Guide, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake, awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep, asleep we may rest in peace. peace.
Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, for whom you prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with us this evening. I'd like to remind everybody that you can join us uh, again tomorrow at 10 a.m. for the Sunday morning service uh, here on Epiphany's Facebook page. And what else am I supposed to say here? Um, oh, one last thing, which is that we are still collecting donations for Network, which is a nonprofit here in Richardson. It's a coalition of churches and other community organizations that serve those in need. And so go ahead and bring by, you can bring non perishable food, diapers, and cleaning supplies are really needed right now. So you can bring those by the church, and that's 421 Custer Road. Um, there's a wagon out in front of the church where you can bring donations. We are actually over halfway to our goal of 3,000 pounds of non-perishable food for the month of June. So you guys are amazing. Um, and keep bringing the donations in the community. Um, and that's it. That's all. Okay. We love you. Good night, everybody. Have a good week.